Hi, this is Rob for Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to show you a little thing about tungstens and the different kinds of tungstens for different kinds of metals. And uh, what it is, we've got three different kinds of tungstens here and if uh, you are an experienced TIG welder, you'll, you'll know who, what I'm talking about. We've got the thoriated tungsten here, we've got the lanthanated tungsten here, and then we've got the serrated tungsten here. And we've got the different sizes. I'll show you how they fit up into the, the stinger and uh, what kind of collets, collet bodies, and the little caps that you need to use. And uh, let me get this hooked up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, what we're going to do first here, we're going to show you the kinds of tungstens. Now the first one is the serrated here and it comes in three different sizes, the sixteenth of an inch, the three thirty-two, and the eighth of an inch. Depending on the thickness of the material you're going to be welding. Okay, now the thing to remember with the serrated is the color. Right here at the tip, you'll see there's a color, it's gray, alright? So that's, it's going to be for all metals, okay? Aluminum, stainless steel, mild steel, and it's a, it's a versatile tungsten. And then we've got the 332 and the 1 8th. Now the next one is lanthanated. And that's good for mostly aluminum. And it's got the light blue tip on there. Okay, so and it comes in the same sizes. And that one we'll come back to because I had a caller, he asked how to, the easiest way to get the little round ball on your tungsten. And, um, which uh, tungsten will work better for you. Now the next one is the thoriated and that's they say it's for all metal but personally I prefer the serrated and uh, or the lanthanated and uh, that's gonna be with the color red. Okay thoriated is good for they say all metals but basically it's stainless steel, mild steel and if you want to do aluminum, you want to go ahead for the lengthenated or the serrated, because this is one that is more common nowadays. They're trying to phase this one out. Okay, now when I get my machine set up, we want to decide what kind of collet and collet body we want to use. Obviously, it's got to fit your tungsten, okay? And it's got to fit inside your stinger. Now with the cup, there are different sized cups. This is a number five for instance, okay, and that's for getting into small little spots. Then you can go up in size. Here's a number six, so you compare the difference. And then again two, you've got even a number four, okay. And then you've got your caps that will hold everything together for you. And so let me put this together and uh, like I was saying, we had a caller who came in and he was wondering why the ball on the end of his tungsten for welding aluminum was going so crazy. And then again, that's why I say that's the thoriated tungsten. And you don't want to have that off the side because no matter how much you adjust your high frequency, that little ball will start wiggling on you and you feel like you're out of control. So we're going to show you how to get that little ball on there and uh, make sure it doesn't jump around on you. Okay. Now what we're going to do first is uh, get our, our tungsten, get a tip on it. Okay. And uh, so what we do is we get our grinder and our little thing of water because you never want to overheat your tungsten. So that way you can dip it into the little jar right there. So we we'll turn on our grinder. You want to make sure that with all three of these tungstens, you're going to keep it up at a nice point, just like that. You dip it. You want to have it going up. That way, the burrs will come down this way, and at that end, you're not going to have that little kind of burr, just like that. Same thing here. Dip it. Dip it. Just like that.
Really nice point, just like that. If you really want to get fancy, you can take your grinder, put it in there. Go like this. Like that. Turn that off. And this one here is going to be our serrated. Just like this. Now, when you want to do aluminum, you want to have that rounded tip on your tungsten, okay? So like I said with the, when we were at the grinder, I put a sharp tip on my tungstens no matter what, okay? Now we're doing aluminum, but we're going to go set it to the AC, but to get that ball on the end of your tungsten with that little tip, we're going to hit the AC on mild steel. You can also use stainless, but I'm using mild right now. So you hit that with the mild steel first on AC, then you shoot over to here to the aluminum with your tungsten and that'll round that ball off. Now I'll show you all three of the different tungstens and uh, the thoriated will have an oblong ball on you. You'll see that when I, when I run the, heat up the tungsten. Then we'll go to our other one. And we'll go to our other one. There you go. Now, after I've already got the balls on him, you can see this is the thoriated here. And look how that ball is. It's really oblong, real all over the place there. And when I was getting the, the, the heat to it, you could see it was wobbling around. Now the serrated is right here, a lot more uniform. It doesn't wander around on you when you're running the bead on the aluminum. And then your lanthanated right here that's the cleanest of the three. And uh, this is pretty much, this one's going to be obsolete pretty soon, because look at that. But the other two are great. Okay, there you go. Now you got your three tungstens on how you want to weld the aluminum. Another little tip and trick I showed you was using your little hand, grind, or hand drill. And be careful with that, you know, you don't, unless you know what you're doing. Use your hands, but keep your hands away from the wheel. But uh, here you go, when you want to weld aluminum, that's how you get the tip on your tungsten. I'm Rob, we'll see you next time, Longevity Learning Lab.